As the third day began, A7 held a leading position while the top 16 still had a chance to challenge for the championship. Hello. Salve rapaziada, é, a gente continua tranquilo pro último dia, focado, a gente conversa sobre as partidas ontem e se Deus quiser hoje, é, ele vai deixar a gente levantar essa taça e levar esse título pro Brasil. Mungkin uh, feeling atau emosi gue sih nggak nggak sedih atau marah, tapi lebih ke senang sih. Senangnya karena pertama sih uh, gue udah balik ke final ini, kayak one of the best player juga. Gue senang gue udah bisa balik dan gue senang aja sih kayak udah kemarin gue bisa ngasih uh, gameplay kayak terbaik kita juga. Я There's not much more left for these teams. They need to put up a good performance here and now, and they'll have their first chance. With the final day's games underway, who would emerge as the ultimate champion? A7, despite their points advantage, was eliminated early by IHC. Red Falls versus Godless, who has had a very lovely run yesterday. They will be taken out in third place on the four eliminations on the match. Not enough to catch up to the Xavier. Storwall fighting now. Six eliminations blank. They want to push up towards the top of the table. But they're right next door to the Xavier. What a nice little play there coming through from Lamborghini. And a close range push. Levi steps out wide. And he gets completely put down to pieces. Lamborghini steps. But a lot of those top teams still really need to win it. The major talking point though, Alpha 7 going out as early as they did. Yeah, and even when I was watching the fight, I was like, okay, this could be the championship fight for Alpha 7 right here, depending on if they're going to be able to win it against IHC or not. And it didn't end up happening. <laughs> this is realistically exactly what I was talking about. The hard, easy shift allows Stalwart not only to maybe steal away some eliminations, but also pick up some more of these placement points. A third place for Stalwart right now would be very beneficial towards their rankings. They're still currently behind IHC. Taking a lot of shots from Titans. They go down. And there's a real Wait, possibility a now for Stalwart to take this. 97 That's down nade. Low. Top looks for it. Another nade. It looks good. That's enough. That's oh, 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 for Stalwart. A crucial capture here in the finals. If we fail, we cannot be the champion. So I told my player, like until now, why you learn it? Like use all the things to the, uh, today. And we can still cannot call 100% who's going to be the team up there to claim the trophy. It just makes it so intense every single match and super unpredictable. Well, we can see here, Alpha 7, a bit of a struggle there. But at least they're able to survive and get some points, right? Three eliminations, the one placement, better than D Xavier did. As the Xavier did get wiped out by Stalwart. And we're back! It's time to hop into our next Aaron Go of the day. Stalwart Esports started off strong here with a victory on our last Aaron Go. Can they do it again, Max? Mafioso, that's found by Top Basie. Looks for the flush as well, and they'll find it. Now for seven, Whoa. are starting the ball. A roll up forward in the buggy, and Stalwart want more. It's all up to Revo, but he can't do it. Damn. He cannot make it happen. And Stalwart put the double digits on the eliminations. Take down Alpha Seven and take off the top spot. Ten eliminations. IHC coming in though very quickly. Looks over towards with the 4MB play. They pop offset with the name. Now the last man standing for Faze and Godless wants to shut this one down here and now. It is IHC making their big for the top of the tables. Stalwart playing it from Alpha 7. And now Mongolia, Mongolia, Mongolia. That's the name of the game for pretty much for this man. And I do think it might be a little bit downhill from, downhill from here for Alpha 7. 
likely not knocked out from the top three, but that trophy. Estamos muito perto do título, né? Tem mais duas partidas ainda. Vamos dar nosso melhor nessas duas partidas e vamos tentar sair daqui campeão. Fé em Deus. The way the Stalwart's been playing, the way the IHC has really changed up the game at the end of the day, it is fantastic. And I mean, I only want to see this continue going forward, John. And Carrillo now has to hold it together. One goes down, two face him off, and now one more is too, just too much. Alpha 7 fall, three eliminations on the match. A lot of damage sent back to 33Z now. 433Z to take it home, 4628. He stepped no up, way. this is ball, this is yeah. 33Z. Chuck the bits with that one. Blows up the smithereens. We'll focus up here on the game because we don't have much time. But well, we don't have any time actually. So let's get into Miramar. Two matches left to go. Let's find out who our New Year champion is going to be. Waiting to set off right now. The burning heat of the desert will beat down on these teams. Sweat on their brow. As they try and lift it for the first of two on Miramar. The plane park right down the middle. Not just yet, Revo through the window, finds Boba Hoba. Alpha 7, they're down to just set up now, and the knock is crucial to keep them alive. Three players on the inside, gets through the window, good spell disaster, and Alpha 7 have more to worry about. The need, it doesn't find him, but there's Garou to shut it down, and Alpha 7 out for the first of two Miramars. They make a good crossing, but more for just too quick. Incredibly holding on to their never give up spirit, STE managed to survive to fourth place in a dire situation. At this moment, STE still led IHC by one point. Looks for the challenge on Flax with the DBS on the cliff side, and it will be good. The road rash is strong, and phase drag it to victory. 13. As he said, didn't quite get the elimination, so maybe he's going to be a bit different. Oh, one point. Going into One the last match. Oh my <laughs> word. Okay. The final edition of Miramar, the final edition of matches here in Istanbul. Blank. We've made it all the way. Match 18 of 18. Divide them together and you get one hell of a tournament. It has been incredible to see these teams take, take each other on so far, and I don't think it's going to stop there. They are being so careful. They just want to maintain their cause here because. One point behind them, IHC. Goodness me. A7, big test for them. S2Gs consistently been able to take down top teams from the outside edge. Nade sent directly Ooh. through the middle. Carillo down. The high ground is dealt with. Dispatch the setup holds his nerve. Alpha 7's dreams could come crashing down here. Brazil were at the top, moving into the final day. What's the challenge? It's Ray Z with it. And Alpha 7 fall. Mongolia with the top two spots in hand, and they're going to fight off against one another. Brazil, right at the post once again, failed to make it to the end. S2G like a rocket arrive on the scene. Oh. But Wymau quickly dispatches the majority of them. Oh, look at them take them off. I see instantly of the three Elims. Today, they have been devilish to these teams looking for that chase. IHC already in the lead. Blank, they have a three-point advantage right now against Stalwart. They can hold their nerve. They could take it away and deny Stalwart another title here. Top is close by Yo. He's got the power. Can he bring it through? Top is crawling closer. He's to be so careful. No need to hand. Crest the ridge. Yo, he stands up. He spots top. And there's the knock. There's the punch as well. Mormon crosses the road. He, he looks just... to spray him. 
Across the road he goes, but no farther than that from the top row. It will be 6 to 8, but let's take a look at IAC. They know that they've done it. Obliterating their opponents. IAC are your champions. For Mongolia, denying their countrymen yet another title. Stomping on the face of Alpha 7. Brazilians denied as well. It is IAC to claim the top spot. Who will take them on next year? Because this is a statement play. Zeus denied in the past. They just missed the net, but this time around it is a goal for Mongolia. Not quite a hat trick, but it's still the duo up there. An incredible performance from this team. IHC, your champions. Ladies and gentlemen. Neurkewa. Ya, dia punya mata. Nah, pasti, pasti itu kan psikolog. Ya. Ya. Good luck, good luck. สำหรับผม e-sport ก็คือการทำงานในรูปแบบหนึ่งเพราะว่ามันไม่มันไม่ใช่แค่การเล่นเกมปกติมันคือการแข่งขันแล้วก็มีเงินรางวัลมีเงินเดือนแล้วก็มีวินัยเพิ่มขึ้นมาจากการเล่นเกมปกติครับ e-sports para mim é uma coisa muito importante é um negócio que veio para revolucionar o mundo e pô eu sinto me sinto muito feliz em participar do esportes e ser um grande nome também e fazer parte de um grande time aqui dentro. Eu sou muito, muito agradecido por tudo. Game 내에서 다른 팀들과 경쟁을 하고 그 경쟁력으로 어 서로 서로 격려하면서 자신의 자신의 경기력을 최대한 뽐내면서 하는 것이 비스포츠라고 생각합니다. <목소리> 